All right, CAD fans, in this video, we're going to draw a suspension bridge. I've started working on the towers. You can see that I've kind of angled off, or what's called chamfered, the edges of the towers to make them look a little nicer. That tool is up in the Modify group. It's right there. You start by clicking the edge you want to work on. And then next OK, you hit Enter base surface chamfer distance. I just made it 0.25 meters. Enter again, 0.25 meters. And then you pick the edges. And one more enter. We'll put a chamfer on that. So if I click the tool here, hold the left mouse button down, I can spin it around look at the other side. The easier tool escape to get out of that. If you're just chamfering edges, is just to use the chamfer edge tool. And that's a little bit easier. It's fewer things that you have to figure out. So then you can type in distance and specify 0 0.25 just like I already did. 0 0.25, enter. And then you can just pick edges, actually more than one at a time, as long as you're on the same face, and it'll chamfer those a lot faster and quicker. So anyways, that's what I'm working on. I'm going to copy this tower across and put a deck in next. Stand by. So I pretty much finished the towers and I'm working on the deck now. I want to make a nice curved fit of the deck over the towers. So let's, uh, let's use the spline curve fit. And I'm going to zoom in on the abutment here. We're going to have it start. I got him in the deck layer. Have it start right in the center of that abutment. And then I'll zoom back out and move over a little bit till I can get into the screen right in the center of that girder in the tower. And moving over. Same thing on the other side until I get all the way over the other side up the bridge on the second abutment. And then I just hit enter to finish the spline curve and spin it around so we can see that it's a nice curved deck shape. Now we're going to draw the profile. Well, actually, let's, let's not draw the profile yet. Let's move that up since it's sitting right on the girders. Let's use the Move tool. Enter. Left-click the midpoint, and we're just going to move it up one meter with an angle of 90 degrees. I just moved it up just a little bit off of those girders. Then we'll spin around to the end view, which always seems to twist every time I do it for some reason. And there is the Deer Isle Stonington Bridge, which is near Brooksville, Maine. Uh, it's the same design as the famous Tacoma yeah, Narrows Bridge deck. that you may so have let's seen. Let's take the rectangle just out here in nowhere. We'll make the deck, let's say, 16 meters wide by 2 meters deep. And zoom in on a little bit here. Maybe we'll chamfer the edges off a little bit and make it look nice. So let's take, let's do the, change the distance here. First chamfer distance is going to be uh, 1.2. Second chamfer distance will be 0 0.6, we'll have kind of a 1 to 2 thing, and we'll go this way, that way, and then do the same thing on the other side, this way, that way, so I'm just left clicking my way around, that's kind of a nice looking deck section, huh? And then we'll move that over, select objects, and I want to pick it right from the middle point here if I can. And move that right over, right in line with that abutment. Then we should be able to use the sweep tool to send the deck profile across the bridge. So, objects to sweep, that one, enter, path, that one, and looks like it might have done something. We'll zoom back out and see what happened. Oh yeah, I think it might have worked. Spinning around here in space. And well, 
let's just do this. Let's look at the that's isometric. That looks pretty good. Let's switch it to conceptual view. And there is our bridge with a deck. So what I've done now is I drew in some girders underneath the deck at 15 meter spacing. All I did is draw the center one and then copied it over 15 meters. And then I drilled holes in the towers where the cables are going to go through by drawing a cylinder solid and subtracting them. And then I drew these work lines in that are setting me up to do the, the uh, cables themselves. So let's get rotated around here. I want to set my UCS in this orientation. But then I'm going to go back to that isometric to see if I can draw in the cables hitting the right spots. All right, so I'm in the cables layer. I'm going to use the arc tool. Start at the center there. And then the middle of the arc is going to be there. And the other end of the arc is going to be in these other footings. On the end. Okay, good. That looks pretty good. Do the same thing in the middle. Arc again. And then to the center. Sometimes it's easiest to get your work set up and work and go from that with some work line. Looks like I messed that one up. It missed. Yep. Hit the escape key. I'll try that one again. Doesn't always work the first time either, as you're probably already aware. Let's try it again. Zoom out. So I'm just using the middle mouse button to zoom in and out. And the trouble I'm having right now is hitting the end of that line. So maybe I'll just move to that line, then go to the end. Come on. Just doesn't want to grab the end of that line. We'll rotate a little bit. Of course, then, yep, there we go. Come on. There it goes. Oh, this is totally not working. What is going on here? Let's try it from this angle. From that angle, it's working fine. Hmm. Yeah, anyways, we'll try it again here. I may have missed on the end. I may have to move it once I take a closer look at it. But if, it, if I zoom in and try to hit that, spot it'll probably be okay next thing I'll do is draw a circle on the end of those cables and use that to do a sweep so make another. So we got the little circles drawn in on the end I'm looking at it from elevation view but they look a little crooked so let's rotate that object left click there enter base point I'll just make this where it intersects and then for the rotation angle I'll sort of snap right to the line so that then it lines up perpendicular to the line and we can use the sweep tool sweep objects to sweep a little circle enter sweep path that one enter and that should do it for that one then I'm going to move up to the others and I'll finish doing the sweep and show you in another few minutes. Next I copied all the cables across to the other side of the bridge. So I'm just making copies. So that all should look pretty good. Now I'm going to work on the hanger cables. So I'm going to put the deck back on. And so we'll switch to the sort of top view here. Zoom in. Pick one of these. And we're going to take the UCS and make it a face. So I can start on one of these girders. Accept. And then we'll use the cylinder tool to draw in the cylinder. So I'll start with sort of an object snap tracking, go right there, 
make it 0 0.15 meters in diameter hit enter and with the height I'll switch it and we'll make it pretty tall maybe like 80 eh, probably do a little bit less than that somewhere in there like 65 meters tall and then I'll trim them all to the the uh, main cable now I can copy a whole bunch of these across so I'll just use the copy tool select objects page point and of course I can just move them right along like that and then trim them So what I did is I drew a red circle in the working layer on top of each one of these little cables and then I copied them. So if you select that the circle and the hanger cable that's over long, select a base point, I zoom right in on my end of the girder and left click there. The second point then is on the next girder over. So I just copied those right along. And then you just take the little circle on top and we move that. Move. Enter. Base point right on center and just keep moving it down until it's right in the middle of the main cable. Hit enter. And then what I can use is called the slice tool. S L I C E. We'll select the cable enter and then use O for object select the little red circle then click one more time on the side we want to keep and it'll trim it right out okay and so finally we have a suspension bridge what I did is copied the cables actually I mirrored the quarter of the cables that I drew to the other end of the span and then copied the whole set across the bridge. So there you have it.